Five, four, three. Hello, everybody. This is John here, aka Professor Bubbles, and once again, welcome to my laboratory. In today's edition, we're going to talk about Gardevoir V Man. Remember, Gardevoir Tag Team with Sylveon and the Psychic Dex. I know we're not doing a second Pokemon anymore, and it's kind of like, can we get a really good one at this point in time? You know what? I think we did. The problem is, is that during Champion's Path, and everybody's going after the Charizards, a lot of people in the glitz of this card. And I know we're not playing competition mode during this time. So there's a lot of cards I feel are not getting the chance that they should have deserved. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to go in there, figure out which of these cards have the potential still to be great. You know what? Guard of VMAX is one of those cards. Because it has one attack. Just like many of the Pokemon that I've played in the past. Sometimes having one attack, it's all you need. But this attack does max cure for three energies, two psychic, one colorless. It has 180 damage and no 50 from this Pokemon. Simple. There is no other additions to it. It is a simple attack, and you're doing two shots to everything in the game. And you heal. So, how can we get this acceleration going so fast? Simply put, we recently came in, in the recent pre release to Chilling Rain, we came out with Cresselia. And I have been getting my hands on the, the four promos, which I was really happy about. So what Cresselia is, is I had to take you back in time. If you guys remember um, the Charizard attack team, uh, Relish Ram, <coughs> it's basically the same thing, the equivalent to Volcano. So if you could go second, or if you flip the coin, you get heads and you get to choose, go second. Because if you go second, not only that this Crescent Glow attack for one energy um, gets one energy, if you go first, but if you go uh, second and it's your first turn and you use the attack, instead of doing that one energy that turn, you get to do three. The difference is you can't attach a different Pokemon. All three energies are attached to the same Pokemon. That's what we want. Why? Because we have our God of War VMAX. It takes three energies. This card gets three energies. So right away, you're already charged up, ready to go. You play Switch. You play the Bursting Balloons. Uh, play uh, Escape Rope. You switch us out and you just hammer down with your guardian. And as you're hammering down, you're getting another guardian and you're trying to do yourself that turn as well. And that's pretty much what the deck is. And if you happen to need to get this card attacking because you're coming across decks that do safeguard, well, guess what? Cresselia, two energies, as long as there's five energies in play. Uh, yeah, your five energies in play, which is pretty easy. You're doing 30 plus 90 more damage. You're doing 120 damage. You're knocking out those Aterias and you're two shotting those uh, decision wise. That's pretty much what this deck consists of. We have the Crobat to help accelerate. We also run Eldegoss to help get the key orders you need at that demon time. Uh, we run four escape ropes to help do the rotation to make sure Cresselia starts off. We have the Incent to just basically help out to get Cresselia as fast as you can. Uh, we also run the Quick Ball to get you out of the Crobat and necessary or get out the Cresselia you need at that time. We also run Suspiciously Food uh, 10 because it heals 8 damage when you're attacking Pokemon. So not only that, you heal 50 from the attack, but before you attack, you discard uh, one second energy from that Pokemon. Now you heal 80, attach energy that turn, and then you do your attack. Now you heal 80, now you heal 50, boom, you just heal 130. That's a lot of HP right there. Outside of that, we also run Rose Tower. Why? Because we also run Rose the Supporter. The combo to Rose to Rose Tower is simply to put it like this. Get the one time to get the X generation going, and say uh, your uh, Gardevoir gets knocked out, you have another VMAX that's put out there, you put energy on it, boom, you play Rose. What does Rose do? It's two of those energies, basic energy psychics, and attach them to that VMAX Pokemon, fully charged up, ready to go. But you have to ditch your hand. Oh, that's not good. Last one, Rose Guardian comes in. Once your turn, and including your opponent's turn, you get to draw up to three cards in your hand. But you have to have at least uh, less than three cards order. Yeah, two, one, or zero. So, Rose's combo gets plus three cards. Boom, you're good. Outside of that, you got the same, um, basically, I'm call it the same uh, potato. Turn to supporters, you got your sniper for boss orders, you got your energy heal switch for Lana and Mala, you got your uh, disruption and hand disruption for Marnie to get your acceleration going, you got research to destroy your energy you need. They basically allow uh, Rose to accelerate. 
the balloon just to help with the retreat to get Cresselia out to do this attack the first turn on the sign your second turn your first turn and we also run hard energy basically put uh, if it's attached to one of your psyche pokemon and if Pokemon gets hit by damage they your opponent receives two additional damage count on itself not bad for helping but outside of that this deck is very simple and like again i always tell people simplest decks are usually the strongest decks so please don't forget to leave like and subscribe guys and i like to see what you guys have to say so please leave those comments it's very helpful towards me i like to hear what you guys have to say about these decks what do you think could be improved on the decks but on that i hope you guys enjoyed this time and until then i'll see you guys next time